recent field, it is well known that print reading habits, also known as print exposure or print reading frequency, is positively associated with reading comprehension. However, nowadays our reading habits are changing as reading on digital devices is gaining ground. For instance, we read on our laptops, computers, smartphones, e-readers or e-books. However, until now, we didn't know what was the relationship between digital reading habits and reading comprehension. So, with my co-authors and colleagues, Cristina Vargas and Ladislao Salmeron, we elaborated a review of the past two decades and we found that the association between laser digital reading habits and reading comprehension is significant and positive, but almost null. Additionally, the direction of this small relationship changes depending on the educational stage. So, we observed that for um, early educational stages, such as primary school and um, middle school, this association was negative. However, later on, on uh, later stages, such as um, high school and university, uh, this relationship turned out positive. Regardless of these educational stages, um, the, this relationship is much smaller than what has been proven by print reading research. One thing that surprised us was that um, regardless of the purpose of the reading being those reading habits that were closer to social media and communication or those closer to informational linear reading, these associations were minimal with reading comprehension. Um, as one could have expected that reading on digital devices for informational purposes would have been much positively related to reading comprehension but that was not the case. One of the novelties of our study is that previous works have focused on experimental studies. This is the first review and meta-analysis about the association between laser digital reading habits and reading comprehension. So for us, this is just a first step on the growing research about digital reading habits. One thing that I would like to remark is that we do not go against digital reading. It's just that based on what we have found, um, digital reading habits do not pay off as much as print reading. That is why when recommending reading activities, schools and school leaders should emphasize more the print reading than digital reading, especially for younger readers. In considering this recommendation, we should highlight that most of the studies included had a correlational design. And this design do not allow us to draw causal conclusions. Therefore, Fundings for research should support studies that aim to explore and test the potential causal mechanisms.